So, a couple of announcements here. First is, I might be the unluckiest driver, ride share, or delivery driver in the world when it comes to these apps. Okay, I just got a notification. My 30th spark day, whatever, one month anniversary, which was kind of laughable. But I get that notification and I'm shaking my head because my $8,000 challenge is kind of over before it began. I got a chance of still hitting it, but it's gonna be slim, slim odds. Because up until Monday, which is when I started the challenge, up until Monday, I literally can sleep through a day and make, you know, $300 a day. You know, it was orders to be picked up 24 seven, or not 24 seven, but between 7 a.m. to 10 p.m., orders nonstop. You can literally get an order up until like 9.45 to drop off by 10. It was easy, you know, and it was never any day of time. There are orders that were less desirable, but there was orders nonstop. You can always get ordered. Now, on Monday, they started cracking down on the competence of the four Walmarts in my area to the point that you only see orders from seven to 10, like nonstop, and then at 10, it literally just shuts off to where you only get orders randomly from 10 to like five. And then at five to six, they start sprinkling out late orders when there's really no drivers. So yeah, for me, you have um, easy pickings, but it sucks because I wanted to hit $300 a day, but now it's kind of impossible because every day, like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I was able to hit 100 and actually Monday, I hit $150 by noon. So in like, I worked from eight to noon before they started to slow down. So I made 150 in four hours on Monday. And then on Tuesday, I was able to hit $120 in three and a half hours. And then Wednesday, I think I did 110, maybe $90 before they started to shut down. And that was in like two and a half hours. And then today I made $68. Now, the first order was like $28. And then I got lucky because I was actually, I had an order, shop and deliver, that was for $22. And I didn't really want it, but I did it because it was 12 items, 1.4 miles. I'm like, I'll knock it out real quick because I just did a $28 order. So I'm like, I can make a quick $48 for this hour. So I get to the Walmart, I knock out the, the shopping in like 10 minutes, and I go to deliver, and the lady didn't put any instructions on going off the main street instead of a side street to get to her complex because the gate is open. So I had to go around and circle because she didn't answer the phone, or actually I can't get her number. So I had to go around her circle for like 10 minutes trying to figure out, you know, you kept U-turning, how to get into her entrance. I get to her entrance and I get to her house finally after like 10, 15 minutes and guess what she does? She doesn't answer the phone and she does not text back and of course, obviously, doesn't answer the door. So I take all those items back to the Walmart. I was frustrated, so I spent another 20 minutes, two different times calling support, then they had to transfer me to tier two. So, you know, that takes 10, 15 minutes of whole time before you get to tier two. So I did that twice. So by the time I got done, returned the items, which I'm kind of sick because they said they're gonna throw the items away because they can't put them back on the shelf. So for all that, I don't know if it's a glitch in their system, but I literally could have just marked return and kept the items because in their system, it showed returned. They weren't even gonna scan them. They were just gonna take them to the back and throw them away. So I don't know how that works, but it's kind of stupid. You know, Walmart, they're gonna throw them and throw the stuff in the trash. You need to just freaking let the drivers keep them when, keep the stuff when customers, idiots don't answer the phone. So, back to the point at hand. The lady doesn't answer the phone. And I take the items back. I call customer service like, yo, I'm not, it's showing $13.69. I'm not doing all this for $13.69. I've been on this for an hour and a half, blah, blah, blah. They said that I should get more. It's gonna be extra pay and all this and that. I'm like, Ugh. I'm like, you know what, forget about it. It's, it's fine. So, I look on my pay statement uh, about 10 minutes ago and I see an extra additional $23, so, or actually $27. So not only did they pay me the $13.89 base pay for the original trip, but they gave me an extra $27. It was $5 for something, base or whatever, and then it was two fifty dollars return fee that they gave me, and then it was uh, extra effort fee. So I ended up getting $40 for that delivery in total. So I 
ended up clearing six to eight dollars. But after that delivery, because it killed two, uh, an hour and a half, so now it's we're going on uh, 10 o'clock, it's 10.30, and they shut the system down, no orders. And they would sporadically put orders here and there out randomly, but they were just crappy orders, and the good ones, other drivers accepted fast. So it kind of sucks because, you know, if I knew what I knew now, I would have absolutely made 2,000 the first three weeks, but because I didn't know and I was slow pacing it, not dedicating the time, I was doing DoorDash, Grubhub, and then even some Lyft in between. Uh, now that the system, you know, keeps shutting it down because um, Walmart can't keep up, there's no consecutive, you know, consistency and um, orders. So my challenge might be up. I'm gonna just pray and hope that they get back to um, being on point. I'm hoping that tomorrow's another day and they start on track. But now I know I gotta wake up and be out the house by 6.30 and be at that Walmart at six, seven o'clock, like it's a marathon sprint, because I know now that the orders are, plenty of orders between seven to 10. I'm gonna literally like supermarket sweep and I'm going to accept the $30 orders and I'm gonna try to knock out two an hour for those three hours and hopefully I get that 180 because today there was a bunch of $30 orders, but I'm only one man. The first one I knocked out in like 20 minutes, the second one screwed me up, took an hour and a half of my time. If I would've just uh, not accepted that one and took the other one that was actually $28, but it was a few miles more, I could've knocked that out and then I could've been on the next, you can literally, if you grind it out and these Walmarts bring stuff out, within five minutes, you can do three an hour from seven to 10, because there's no other drivers, you're the only one out there from like uh, seven to 10. So hopefully I can knock out six, possibly seven tomorrow. And that'd be in three hours. That'd be about 180 to $200. And then take the whole day off, um, come get my son, go to the beach, enjoy, and then just start back up at like seven o'clock, because usually at seven uh, to 10, there's nonstop orders. But we'll see how it goes. I'm not gonna give up on my challenge yet. Uh, I'm not really a quitter, so we'll see how it goes. I'll uh, keep you guys posted. But for now, I'm out. Peace.